the man almost 600 years ago who could imagine human beings flying high up in the sky lived from 15th of april 1452 to 2nd of may 1519 he was an italian polymath painter draughtsman scientist theorist sculptor and architect though known by the paintings around the globe he visualized how technology could change the world he conceptualized flying machine as a type of armored fighting vehicles he also thought of using solar power as energy generators adding machines for easy calculations and many many things more but he was not a scientist alone he was basically a philosopher a psychologist who knew and believed that science without an understanding of human nature was was like playing with no useful purpose or meaning his notable works include mona lisa the last supper virgin of the rocks lady with an ermine etc as we all know his imaginations thoughts ideas and visualizations were far ahead of time but now let us see what were his thoughts that kept him going how did he see the nature the world and human let us see how can he inspire us to stay positive in our lives i have been impressed with the urgency of doing knowing is not enough we must apply being willing is not enough we must do i love those who can smile in trouble who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection tis the business of little minds to shrink but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death nature is the source of all true knowledge she has her own logic her own laws she has no effect without cause nor invention without necessity the greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions the noblest pleasure is the joy of understanding learning never exhausts the mind iron rust from disuse water loses its purity from stagnation even so does inaction save the vigor of the mind as a well spent day brings happy sleep so a life well spent brings happy death he who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast time stays long enough for anyone who will use it life well spent is long every action needs to be prompted by a motive just as food eaten without appetite is a tedious nourishment so does study without zeal damage the memory by not assimilating what it absorbs the truth of things is the chief nutrient of superior intellects he who wishes to be rich in a day will be hanged in a year there are three classes of people those who see those who see when they are sown those who do not see principles for the development of a complete mind study the science of art study the art of science develop your senses especially learn how to see realize that everything connects to everything else 
as you cannot do what you want want what you can do human subtlety will never devise an invention more beautiful more simple or more direct than does nature because in her inventions nothing is lacking nothing is superfluous one has no right to love or hate anything if one has not acquired a thorough knowledge of its nature great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object and if you know it but little you will be able to love it only a little or not at all simplicity is the ultimate sophistication i have offended god and mankind because my work didn't reach the quality it should have